2018 will be the year of North Korea. The above only scratches the surface of what will be a year filled with North Korea-related headlines and times of tension. In many respects, 2018 will be a virtual repeat of 2017, more missile tests starting in the early spring followed by at least one big nuclear test, lots of fiery rhetoric from both sides and a Trump administration agonizing over how best to respond. The good news, if there is any when it comes to North Korea, is that we have been down this road before, with a so-called rogue regime that is hell-bent on developing nuclear weapons and the missiles to slam them into our homeland. Think murderers of millions Mao Zedong and Joseph Stalin. Unless we are attacked first, right now, America can easily contain and deter North Korea, a nation that has an economy the size of Vermont. There is no need to embark on a dangerous war of choice one that would be far worse than the invasion and occupation of Afghanistan and Iraq combined many times over. Sanctions combined with international isolation, while not the fastest way to bring Kim and his band of thugs to the table, will work. If not, and the administration decides to embark on the so-called military option, well, 2018 could be a year like no other.